tells me, oh, you owe us 994 pounds. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, yes, I'm aware I was missing again. <laughs> I'm sorry, like I'm a law student and I have a dissertation, 30 pages, 30 pages to write on law. Can you imagine? Why am I doing this myself? So I have been kind of, uh, the time that I finished recording the previous video, I had to move house. As you can see, the setup is different. I hope you guys like the mood. The lighting is not going to be consistent. <laughs> it ain't. It isn't. But we do what we've got. So yeah, I was moving house and I was also just getting on with things in my life as well in reference to school and like applications to like law school again. So I'm back with a new video, of course, because it's story time. I nearly got robbed um, two weeks ago and I thought, why not share it with you guys and, you know, maybe protect somebody from it happening to them. So without further ado, here's a story about how I nearly got robbed of 994 pounds in taxes. Let's go. It was literally the craziest thing that has ever happened to me since I've moved to the UK. And when it happened, I was like, what just happened? You know what I mean? Like when something so crazy happens, you're just, you're just thinking this, I've heard this happen in stories. Like, how does this happen to me? Before I get into the look, I'm going to do my base um, skincare first. I'm going to prep my skin because we've got dry skin in this house. And even if you don't, any type of skin, you need to prep your skin for makeup. So I'm going to first start off with my Hyaluronic. <laughs> Hyaluronic. I struggle with this word every time. Hyaluronic acid from Revolution London. Just to bring some moisture into my face. And that way my skin doesn't actually really dry out. Next, I'm gonna take my Claire's Eye Brightening um, Eye Gel. I like this for my day routine because it's way lighter than my um, cream that I have from Olay, which is very, very thick. Pat it in. If you guys want me to give you like my my go-to K-beauty products, please do comment down below. We've grown so much, guys. We've grown to like 900. And I'm like, where did you guys come from? I don't know, like, from my TikTok, like from my Instagram? Like, I don't know what I'll do at the 1000 mark. Should I do a q and I've never done a QA and a on my channel. I just dove into this and started making content and people don't really know much about me. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't mind doing a Q&A. Finally, my lotion. My lotion. <laughs> I'm in my moisturizer. <laughs> oh, it is. I'm using the Simples moisturizer. It's very light weight, which is something that I really appreciate. Um, these summer months were um, the pits. <laughs> do you ever just massage your skin and you're like, wow, this is what wellness feels like. I'm gonna use my pore blur from Revolution in order to Further prime this face. What a smooth canvas. So let me paint the scene, right? First of all, I am an international student um, here in the United Kingdom. Most time, I'm just been a student. I've been relying on my parents and stuff like that. We're not using foundation today. We are using concealer because, like, we're at home. We're not going anywhere. I hope you're not going anywhere, wherever you are. But yeah, I'm gonna use the True Match concealer from L'Oreal, which honestly I've been obsessing over for a while. So for all intents and purposes, I'm a broke girl. I don't have money. I rely on my mommy and my daddy. So now imagine my broke self being called randomly by someone stating that I'm in debt. Debt? Personally, I don't know, I don't know, owe nobody money other than my parents and God, period. That is... So the thought that I was in debt to someone freaked me out because I'm a foreigner. I'm gonna take my Bare Minerals Loose Powder just to set this little light base. We're going for a very natural finish, you know? We're not doing a full beat. That's not what we're here for. So imagine me, I'm in my house. I'm thinking, oh wow, today I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna do work today. Oh my gosh, because I've been procrastinating when doing my dissertation. <laughs> that day I was like, I'm gonna start this week off good. I'm going to start off my dissertation. I'm gonna help pack up my house. It's gonna be a good week, basically. And just as I got up from my bed, my phone starts ringing. It's an unidentified number. Listen, we live in a world where 
<laughs> we grew up with horror movies and you know pop urban legends about unidentified phone numbers what's the name of that movie where people were like it was it the missed call or something people were being called by a number they didn't know and then like when they answered it and it was hung up like they were dying in seven days in like horrendous ways dude listen i don't answer unidentified numbers but now because i'm a, res a responsible human being i have no choice but to respond to these phone calls because i don't know it could be the doctor's office it could be um, an employer it could be anyone like I'm in a phase in my life where I'm trying to find a job I go on sp like on like this little like speaker thingy where it tells me like oh hi this is the tax office um, you know of the United Kingdom and um, we would like to inform you that the reason that why you're getting this call is because you have been found to be charged with not paying your taxes. I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette this time. I just love this palette. It's so good. I'm gonna do like a brown green situation and then we're gonna play around with this new like white liner that I got from NYX, so. Now I'm thinking, what taxes? What are you talking about? Next thing I hear on the little automated machine, it's like, if you don't click one to take you to a personal like tax officer, you an arrest warrant will be issued to you and the police will be on their way see just keep going i am a lawful citizen i am a crook online yes i stream anime a la bit illegally on you know kiss asian to hear that there was an arrest warrant I, I I clicked one like it my that one was about to jump off of my screen and go running off into the freaking high hills on a on a burning cinder like I, I I I clicked that one so I literally sit there the elevator music is playing I'm on pins and needles like I literally am on the verge of a freaking heart attack because I'm like what is this about taxes what and mind you my laptop is in front of me so I'm literally looking at it up like oh my god so you know. Mind you, in the edge of my fear, I'm also trying to fight it with rationality because I'm like, I refuse to be scammed because I am a lawful citizen. I do not evade taxes. I don't even pay taxes. What the, what? Oh yeah, I forgot to snap you guys in. You must have been just watching me put on my makeup from a distance and that's not how we work on this channel. So, let's get in this face. So, he, I wait, I wait, pins and needles, and here comes the voice of a man who is of South Asian descent. But assume, I'll presume that he was an Indian person. So this man um, answers my call and he's like, oh, hello, how are you? I'm like, I'm fine. I am not fine. Guys, I don't even know why they don't teach us about taxes in high school. Like you want to teach me about how mitochondria is a powerhouse of the cell and the Pythagorean theorem and trigonometry, which I don't even use in my life. Why? Because I'm a freaking lawyer to be but you don't want to teach me about taxes and financial literacy? So this man comes and says, oh, hi, can I just confirm your name? I'm like, my name is Tegani Pea. Um, he's like, where's your postcode? This is my postcode. And that's it. And he's telling me like, um, yes, Ms. Pea, um, are you aware that um, there is a case against you on tax evasion? I'm like, case against me on tax evasion? I said, no, I'm not aware. And then he proceeds to say, oh, well, we have on record that you willfully evaded tax payments. I was being told that I purposefully did not pay taxes for two years. And I'm sitting here like, no, I did not willfully evade taxes. What the? And then he comes on to tell me, and as I'm in my panic, you know, I just hear this man drone on like, yes, um, we did an audit um, of our records of like some random people and we found on your records that you didn't do your payments on purpose like you defaulted on your payments and I'm like I evaded taxes for two years? How? He proceeds to say oh yeah um, you have been trying to make payments like faithfully for like the past two years but then you like not pay I've been paying my guy that means i had to be a, i had to have been aware of these payments because baby if i owe somebody money i'ma pay you see the lawyer in me came out i'm i really i really sat there and i said what are these dates Give me the dates when when did i default he's like oh it was in 2019 2018 and i'm like oh he is good okay you are in the scope of when i came into the united kingdom i was confused with 2018 he's like yeah your company i'm like my company um 
Something seems a little off. Maybe I only worked at a company for like three months in 2019. I'm broke. <laughs> broke and proud. What the hell? It's like, yeah, your company didn't pay. I'm... So I'm panicked. I'm like, I'm going to jail. <laughs> T tells me, oh, you owe us 994 pounds. Bro, mind you, at that time, I only had literally 10 pounds to money. <laughs> this man with his whole chest said that I owed the government of the United Kingdom 994 pounds. How does one even get into that type of debt? And he's literally speaking all these buzzwords on some, yeah, you willfully um, defaulted, and if you don't pay, then you're going to jail. Like, we um, have a warrant of arrest, um, we'll issue a warrant of arrest for the police to come get you. And I'm like, no, I don't wanna go to jail, I don't look cute in orange. And like I said, the logic in me, step forward, I've come to realize in such situations, you have to be calm. These people will say a lot of buzzwords in order to freak you out. They'll drop things like, defaulted, willfully, warrant for arrest, you have to pay, this is the only way you're gonna get out of it. And for somebody who is very, very, in that point you're vulnerable, you're gonna wanna do everything to resolve it because you know that you're a good and lawful citizen. Oh, I caught him out is when I really sat back and I wanted to trace back to when I first defaulted and I asked him, when was the first date? And I spoke, as he tried, as he kept on speaking, I spoke over him and I, I was like, when was the first date? And he kept on trying to repeat like, oh, it was in 2018, 2019. I'm like, no, which month was it? He says, oh, a couple of payments was in 2019. I'm like, okay, what was the first thing? Like, that's when I started saying back, I'm like, this is a scam. This has to be a scam. Cause how are you struggling to tell me the date of my first default? He goes on and says, the first month of your default in payment was June of 2018. <laughs> Baby, I'm gonna cut your booty out. Do you know why? Let me tell you why. No, actually, let the story tell you why. I asked him three more times. I said, so you're saying that my first ever default was in June of 2018. He's like, yes, and he tried to speak over me again. He's like, ma'am, if you don't pay this 994 pounds, an or a warrant of arrest will be issued to you, ma'am, you have to pay. And I was like, are you sure? I'm looking at my stuff right now. He's like, yes, you're paying on and off, but like your first default was in 2018. Um, you were trying to pay well in the company. But, and I'm like, oh, really? So as he's droning on and on, I stopped him with one sentence. Funny you say that I defaulted on my payments in June of 2018, when I wasn't even in the United Kingdom in June of 2018. I literally heard this man stop. And I was laughing in my spirit, because I realized this idiot really tried to tell me that I am in debt without knowing <laughs> in, a, in a month that I wasn't even in the damn country to begin with. And next thing he's like, oh, but your company. And I told him, baby, I wasn't working for a company either in this 2018. He hung up. <laughs> I hate doing this left eye because my creases, I've come to find out, are not the same. I'm going to go put on some lashes real quick. That was... You only hear these things in stories. Like, I've never had that happen to me at all. <laughs> Let's go into my next blush. My favorite one that everyone loves, Exhibit A, and I'm gonna dust it across my cheeks. The reason why I wanted to also make this, other than having a fun story time, is because so many people fall prey to these scams. People get scared, especially when you're a foreigner in another country. You don't wanna be in debt to someone. I wouldn't wanna be in debt to anyone because it's a very vulnerable place to be in and that has something, someone has something over you. So my advice is please always handle such situations when you're calm. Like, I know you wanna be panicked and I know you wanna run around and worry about how to fix it quickly, but that's how they want you to be. They want you to freak out. They want you weak. They want you at their mercy, but you're not. There's always a solution for every problem. So take it slowly and ask questions. They always buckle at questions. Ask for dates, ask for addresses, because they should have that if you're registered to pay tax. But yeah, I was spared 994 pounds. This is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. I really enjoyed this like liner. 
I feel like it's a very pretty add-on to my collection of like stuff and it's a new like way of dip diving into a different type of like minimalistic but like liner-esque makeup that is trending right now in the world. But yeah, this is my story. Like, I don't owe anyone money and I nearly got scammed but I have a very very gracious God and I have a very very solid head on my shoulders and that didn't happen. So. If that ever happens to you, ask those questions. That will be all from you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other video ideas that you want, then please do pop me a like or a comment down below. Send me a DM. You know where to find me on my socials, either TikTok or on my Instagram. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell down below. So our beautiful beloved family will forever grow. I love you guys so, so much. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.